a very good evening to you all, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you so much for joining us, particularly welcome to our South African journalists for joining us so late in the evening. Um, as usual, I'd just like to remind everyone to please keep their monitors muted um, if they're not speaking, as well as to put your request to ask a question on the chat panel. That's how we will work our press conferences. We've got Lungi Gidi here, um, and we'll get started right away. Who would like to get the first question? Nathan, go ahead. Uh, Lungi, firstly, congratulations on your fafa today. Um, you spoke about the conditions during the week and how it was um, as the times go, go, uh, went on when you guys were that side. Now, today obviously was day one. How were the conditions um, like, uh, specifically um, the pitch conditions? Um, so from our practice game, it actually, it seemed to slow down a bit. Um, but yeah, I don't think they were taking care of the wicket we were playing on as well as they, they're looking after this one. Uh, but yeah, you know, one thing that we did find was that it did slow down, but you were never really in as a batsman. Um, and that's one thing I can say. For those. Hi, Lungi, well bold. Uh, Lungi, the last time you took a five was on debut. And I guess, I mean, you haven't played that many tests since then, but you've obviously been doing a lot of work. Um, can you just talk us through the, the process and, and some of the things you've been working on to get to this point and, and then, you know, what it felt like to get there today? Oh yeah, you know, it's been a work in progress. Um, it's been a very long time since I've taken a five for yeah. But uh, it felt good today to take one. And yeah, you know, it's been a lot of hard work behind the scenes. You know, at a stage, um, my selection was doubtful for the test team. Um, so yeah, I had to work obviously very hard in the gym um, on fitness, um, things like that. But I think the most important thing was the skill side of things, um, being able to, you know, swing the ball away from batsmen now um, has been very useful for me. And yeah, you know, I've loved bowling with the juke ball. It, it seems to swing all day. Um, so yeah, you know, a lot of hard work has gone into, to, uh, you know, in a, to, to a performance like this. And I think everyone could see I was a bit emotional at the end there. Uh, but yeah, it's just been a lot of hard work behind the scenes. Ken? Thank you, Bakaji. Uh, Hanungi, very well bowled. Um, is there a danger when you when you get to a pitch like that, and and obviously from the practice game as as well, you guys knew that there would be a bit of um, assistance for you guys, but it just seemed that you guys were incredibly disciplined today, and and especially you just um, zeroing in on on that off stump. Um, is there a danger that you get carried away on a pitch like that and actually? don't have the success you enjoyed today because you can get a bit um, ill-disciplined. Yeah, you know, um, you can get carried away, especially when it's nipping around and swinging like that. Um, but yeah, you know, my, my role definition in the team has been very clear and it's been, you know, one to make sure that I keep one quiet, I mean, one end quiet. And yeah, you know, we do have some really quick bowlers and I think a lot of batsmen were struggling with them. So for me to give them nothing was was part of the plan. And yeah, you know, just zoning in on that off stump. Uh, I think it got better, obviously, after lunch. I felt more comfortable from the other end. And yeah, my rhythm clicked. And yeah, you know, everything seemed to be going my way after that. Yeah, uh, Lungi, um, obviously, congratulations on, on the five wickets. It's, it's an awesome achievement and a great start to the test. Obviously, the two late wickets just uh, robbing our momentum a bit. What are, you, what are you guys hoping to get on the scoreboard? Obviously, 500, 600. But uh, realistically, what's a, what's a good score we want to put on the scoreboard tomorrow and uh, to really hopefully maybe only bat once in this test? Um. I think as we've seen, like on this wicket, you're never really in. So, you know, we were looking at any sort of lead. Uh, but if I'm being, posit I mean, positive as a bowler, you know, I think maybe a lead of 150 to 200 will take that. Um, yeah, I think that would be perfect for us. But then again, you know, as you can see, it's still moving around a bit, you know, still jagging around. Uh, so I think any lead that we can get possibly uh, will take as bowlers. Lennox? 
Tai. Yes, Lungi. Uh, good evening. Uh, what do you make of that young fast bowler there, um, Jaden Seals? I know you have been having a look at him. What do you think about him? Yeah, no, I, I was actually keeping a really close eye on him as well. You know, his seam presentation is pretty much what, you know, I tried to do when we were bowling. Um, you know, and, and I think he's got a great wrist behind the ball. Uh, he's got a very clean action. And it seems like he could run in all day. Um, so he is a bit of a danger. Um, very exciting, uh, you know, future for the West Indies with him in the lineup. Um, but yeah, you just notice that, you know, his skill level as well as also up there. So that's that's promising for the West Indies bowling lineup. Thank you. Halford Lloyd, and then we'll finish with Kanye Sook. Hello, Lungi. Very well bowled. You deserve every accolade that's coming your way. Um, but of course, there is a bigger picture. And looking from the outside, when some people kneel, including yourself, and other people don't, it looks like division. Is it division in the team about that issue? Not at all. Um, you know, come from a diverse country. Um, and to be honest, I don't think it's fair for me to speak for other people. Um, so, you know, everyone's entitled to their own choices in life. And yeah, you know, I've been very clear on my stance, but in terms of the team, um, there's no division at all. I think you can see today in the way we were playing, um, everyone's happy for everyone. Uh, and yeah, you know, we play for South Africa and that's, that's all we're trying to do as players. Thank you. Lungi, Dean spoke a, a bit um, about this before the game, but what was the chat amongst the players um, on what to do before before the start? I mean, it was obviously a personal choice in terms of, you know, you could kneel, you could raise the fist, you could, uh, you know, take the cap off and acknowledge the movement. But what, what was the chat amongst the players um, before stepping onto the park today in terms of what you guys would do as a team? Well, you've actually answered the question yourself. Um, it was exactly that, you know, everyone, as entitled to their own choice and yeah you know that's what you want to do if you want to whatever you wanted to do you were allowed to do it was that simple can you so well part of our questions are taken by telford and lloyd but um here's mine lungi you've i don't think you've bowled the duke's ball um anywhere else in the world just tell just talk us through the experience of bowling with the duke's ball as compared to the kookaburra or the sg um, so, yeah, if I'm being 100% honest, I prefer the juke ball. Um, it stays harder and it does seem to move around a lot more. Uh, you know, the, the kookaburra ball tends to get a bit soft and once it gets soft, you know, it doesn't really swing or you, you try to look for reverse swing pretty much. The SG uh, gets scuffed up very quickly, uh, really hard ball to maintain. Um, but yeah, the juke ball, it was really a test of skill and you know I, I, I it took a long time well it, as much time as we had um, to prepare with it you know in South Africa we were trying everything to try control that ball and I think just you know the simple practice makes perfect uh, worked out pretty nicely yeah if once you can get that wrist position right and hone in on your area uh, I think you can be very successful with this ball and um, Having bowled with it now, I hope I bowl with it for many, many years. Final question, um, Ken. Lungi, you obviously really bossed the, uh, the post-lunch uh, session there, uh, but uh, how much fun was it in the morning watching Andrik Nokia um, rip through the top order there? Yeah, you know, um, We've been bowling a lot uh, together in the nets, in the middles, in the games, in the practice games. Um, so I've been working pretty much hunting with him uh, wherever we've been. And, you know, to see him come on after me and absolutely tear through their top order was something we were really hoping that would happen. And, you know, obviously the caliber of player he is um, executed and, and got us off to a perfect start. Um, yeah, you know, I just coming on on the opposite end, just try to keep applying the pressure. Um, him and KG were doing a great job as well. Uh, you know, I think um, KG's work can't go unnoticed. You know, he really had them under pressure as well. Um, but yeah, just hunting as a group, that's something that, you know, we've 
try to install within our bowling unit. You know, I think we really can go a long way um, in terms of being a world-class outfit. And, and, and you know, those, that's our goal. So, and then this is the perfect start, looking to just keep that momentum going. Thanks very much, everyone, for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow at tomorrow's post-play, post-conference. Have a good evening. Thanks, Shungi, well, 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 well,